Alexander Wong, the next Elon Musk in a world full of loud spotlight-chasing billionaires, Alexander Wang stands out, not for his noise, but for his quiet genius. At just 28, he's not only built one of the most important AI companies on the planet, Scale AI, but he's also redefining what it means to lead in tech. While many compare him to Elon Musk for his vision and influence, Wang's style is the complete opposite, minimalist, humble and laser-focused on using technology to solve real-world problems. In this video, we'll explore the extraordinary journey of Alexander Wang, how he rose from a science-filled childhood in Los Alamos to becoming the world's youngest self-made billionaire, shaping the future of AI, all while staying grounded, ethical, and ahead of the curve. What's really amazing is that, while many people imagine billionaires living in gold-covered mansions and throwing wild parties, Alexander is the total opposite. He lives by a personal rule, keep things clear, focus on what really matters, and always try to make the world better through clever ideas. For him, it's not about showing off, it's about using technology and innovation to solve real problems. Here's a cool fact. Instead of spending his fortune on fancy cars or expensive watches, Alexander invests in his homes and workspaces so they help him think better. His luxury is all about simplicity, like clean lines, lots of sunlight, and calm spaces filled with books and creative tools. This helps him dream up even bigger ideas. He's also super focused on the future, not just for himself but for everyone. Alexander believes that AI isn't just some sci-fi thing, it should help people live smarter and happier lives today. He's turned this idea into his life's mission. And get this, while most billionaires hire teams to keep them organized, Alexander still likes to plan his day himself, making sure he always has time to learn something new. His friends and co-workers say he's a genius, but also one of the most humble and thoughtful people you'll ever meet. So, if you thought getting rich meant losing touch with what matters, Alexander Wang is living proof that you can have both a brilliant mind, a meaningful life, and a positive impact on the world. All before hitting 30. If you love tales of big dreams, cool technology, and luxury done in a smart way, get ready. Alexander Wang's journey is full of inspiration and surprises. Let's explore how this quiet billionaire is making waves and shaping the future. Our story begins in a small special town called Los Alamos, New Mexico. This place is famous for its smart scientists and huge discoveries, especially during the time when people were learning about atomic energy. It's where Alexander Wang was born in 1997. Both his mom and dad were physicists working at the Los Alamos National Laboratory, a top research center known around the world for solving big science mysteries. Growing up in a house full of scientists meant Alexander's childhood wasn't like most kids. Imagine sitting at the dinner table while your parents talk about strange ideas like quantum mechanics, the science of really tiny particles, and crazy experiments that try to explain how the universe works. Every meal was like a fascinating lesson about how everything around us operates. By the time Alexander was in elementary school, it was clear he was a really smart kid. Instead of playing video games or watching cartoons, he loved reading math books for fun. He also enjoyed working with computers, starting with old Linux computers his parents brought home. While other kids might watch cartoons, Alexander watched videos of famous tech leaders like Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, learning from their talks and ideas. The world talks a lot about artificial intelligence, but most people don't really know that AI can't work well without good data. Imagine teaching a computer to recognize cats, cars, or road signs. It needs to see millions of pictures or sentences that are labeled correctly. If the date messy, the AI will learn wrong things. This was the huge problem that Alexander Wong wanted to fix. At just 19 years old, Wang started Scale AI. His big idea was to make the boring and tricky job of labeling data faster and more accurate by using both human workers and smart technology. Back then, many companies struggled to get their data labeled quickly and perfectly enough for the latest AI tools. Wang's special approach was like having a large team of expert laborers working together with checks to make sure every label was spot on, even down to the tiniest details and images. His goal was perfect data. This approach worked amazingly well. Big tech companies wanted to work with Scale AI, including Microsoft, Meta, Toyota, and U.S. Department of Defense by 2021. Scale AI had grown incredibly fast and was worth $7.3 billion, with Wang owning about 15% of the company. But he wasn't just making money, he was helping build the rules and tools for how AI would work in the future. One clever idea he introduced was transparent dashboards letting clients see clearly how their data was being labeled. This built trust, especially with groups needing tight security, and helped scale win contracts with important government clients. 
Scale AI uses a workforce of about 240,000 people around the world to label data by hand, combined with smart automation tools. This mix helps speed up labeling while keeping it accurate. The company's platforms such as Scale Rapid and Scale Studio lets customers upload their data and track labeling progress in real time, making the whole process easier to manage. Scale AI is behind the data powering many everyday technologies, like self-driving cars, online shopping recommendations, and even healthcare AI systems. In June 2025, Meta bought almost half of Scale AI for $14.3 billion, showing just how important this company has become in the AI world. Even with all the hype about AI, experts agree that good, clean data, the kind Scale AI provides, is absolutely essential. Without it, AI systems can make dangerous mistakes, like confusing a dog for a cat, which could be harmful in real-world uses, like medicine or driving. Wang Scale AI really works behind the scenes, but is one of the most important companies helping AI live up to its incredible potential. It's not about flashy gadgets, it's about making sure the AI brain learns from the right information so it can make smart decisions in the future. Alexander Wang's rise to fame and fortune was incredibly fast, almost like a rocket shooting into the sky. By the time he was only 24 years old, he had become the world's youngest self-made billionaire. His company, Scale AI, plays a huge role in helping computers understand large amounts of data, which is important for modern technology, like self-driving cars and even military systems. He appeared on big lists like Forbes's 30 Under 30 and Time's top AI leaders, gaining recognition as one of the biggest names in artificial intelligence. But unlike many billionaires who enjoy showing off their wealth, Wang is quite the opposite. He chooses to live a simple, quiet life. Instead of flashy parties or public events, he prefers peaceful walks in San Francisco or staying up late reading books. When he does attend important events, he usually stays in the background, quietly asking thoughtful questions rather than giving grand speeches. His home reflects this simplicity. Wang lives in a minimalist penthouse filled with natural sunlight and carefully chosen furniture with hardly any clutter or bright colors. Everything in his home is designed to help him focus and be productive, not to impress others. He also has a quiet retreat in the mountains where he disconnects from distractions. There, by a wood-burning stove and surrounded by nature, he spends time writing journals and thinking deeply about the ethical responsibilities of AI. He believes success comes from carefully doing things well, rather than rushing for fame or quick money. This approach shapes how he runs his company and manages his personal life. Wang is not just a car lover, he's a true car enthusiast who appreciates smart technology over flashy show-offs. His collection features electric hypercars, which are super-fast cars powered entirely by electricity instead of traditional gas engines. What makes Wang's collection special is that he picks cars pushing both speed and sustainability. These rare vehicles combine cutting-edge electric motors, smart batteries, and sleek designs to create something truly futuristic. Unlike usual bling rides, his cars speak to innovation, efficiency, and even autonomous driving features. Wang respects engineering brilliance, cars that show what's possible when technology and style meet. In terms of fashion, Wang's approach is just as thoughtful and refined. Instead of flashy or loud outfits, he prefers a minimalist, modern style. His wardrobe is full of carefully chosen pieces, sharp suits, sustainable designer brands, and casual clothes that fit equally well in a formal boardroom or a high-tech launch event. His style is practical, purposeful, and quietly bold, reflecting the same values he applies to his car choices. It's about function and meaning, not just attention-grabbing trends. One of the main reasons why Wang is so powerful and respected is because he is great at connecting people. Unlike many tech leaders in Silicon Valley who love being in the spotlight and getting all the attention, Wang is humble. This humble attitude helps him open doors that many others cannot. Many top founders in the artificial intelligence world see Wang as a trustworthy and honest person. They often ask him for advice behind the scenes because they know he is fair and smart. Wang is also welcomed in Washington, D.C., where lawmakers and government officials are very interested in his expertise. He has given briefings to members of Congress about the risks and opportunities of AI. For example, he talks about how important it is to stay ahead in global competition, especially with China, and how to use AI responsibly without causing harm. In 2025, Wang even met with leaders from other countries. He shared important information about global AI policies and pushed for sensible laws that can work well now and in the future. This kind of international cooperation is rare but very important because AI affects everyone around the world. What makes Wang truly special is his unique combination of three things, deep technical knowledge, strong business skills, and a serious focus on ethics, knowing what is right and wrong. Because of this, politicians truly respect his opinions 
and want to hear his ideas. It's unusual for a tech leader to be so trusted, both in the tech world and in government offices. While Scale AI is his main creation, Wang's vision is far bigger. He continually bets on new frontiers. His key investment areas include robotics, biotechnology, and cognitive AI. Wang passionately believes the future isn't about humans versus machines. It's about designing tools that extend human capabilities, helping us become more creative, thoughtful, and purposeful. He backs startups that share this positive, augmentative vision for the future. Young founders who align with these ideals often find him both mentor and funder. For Wang, every investment is about long-term value and real impact rather than a quick flip or chasing trends. No career, especially one that sits at the crossroads of technology and society, is free from challenges and disagreements. This is very true for Scale AI, a company that works closely with government clients and handles complex projects involving data that could be used for surveillance or military defense. Raising many questions and concerns, Scale AI faces major issues with how it treats data laborers who help train AI systems. Many workers, especially contractors from other countries, have complained about low wages and harsh working conditions. This led to lawsuits and a U.S. Department of Labor investigation. Additionally, the company's work with military data has sparked heated debates about using AI for defense purposes. Meanwhile, Wang believes innovation must balance progress with protecting people's privacy, so he supports careful development rather than rushing ahead without thinking. Wang tackles these problems head-on instead of avoiding them. He participates in public hearings, hires ethics experts, and created special review boards to oversee sensitive projects. Furthermore, he works extremely long hours to handle issues personally while staying open to criticism and feedback. As a result, many people see him not just as someone who survives difficult times, but as a leader who actually learns and improves from these challenges. The 2025 $14.3 billion deal didn't just validate scale as an industry cornerstone, it underlined Wang's vision as core to AI's global future. Meta's investment was a bet that Scale's data infrastructure would supercharge their next-generation AI products and cement the company's leadership in the worldwide AI race. Wang, however, insists this is just the beginning. Yet through it all, he stays deeply grounded, rarely succumbing to media hype, focusing instead on building a legacy of thoughtful, world-benefiting innovation. Alexander Wang isn't your average tech billionaire. He's a unique cocktail of brilliance, discipline, and humility, building not just astonishing AI tools, but also a blueprint for a life of thoughtful focus and genuine impact. But what about you? If you had a billion dollars at 28, would you chase the spotlight or quietly build tools to change the world? Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this journey into the life and mind of Alexander Wang, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more stories about the visionaries shaping our future. Thanks for watching.